Welcome to the penultimate round of the Motul FIM Superbike World Championship 2020 from a very, very wet Manicor circuit in the centre of France. You can see just over my right shoulder here the live television pictures, the live race control information. There's a little over nine laps to go in race number one, and we're bringing you the post party uh, from the podium in a few minutes time. So before I show you uh, what happens in the preparation room, just follow me out into the corridor. Have a little look at some of these posters. We've got uh, back to the Formula One Grand Prix in 2001. This is really cool. 2014, the last French winner in World Superbike, the Aprilia of Sylvain Gintoli. You can also see on there the number 33 of the now retired Marco Melandri. These are where the podiums are prepared. Obviously, COVID restrictions, everything is uh, laid out. These are the trophies from the Super Sports uh, Championship race which will be taking place a little bit later world super sport 300 there's a championship up for grabs but these are the trophies that will be handed out uh, at the end of race number one look how cool they are uh, a unique design for this french round here in manicor the penultimate round uh, of the championship uh, here you can see all of the flags the potential uh, flags uh, that could be on the podium uh, Loi Omini, Turquia, USA uh, or sadly won't be the USA with Garrett Gerloff uh, crashing out bike still going past us here we've now got seven laps to go Make sure you stay with us because the next time we're on camera, we'll be talking to the top three. Loris Vaz, voilà sur ses pairs. Loris Vaz, deuxième. Johnny, as you said, they're great to see fans back, isn't it? Absolutely superb to see fans back. Not ideal conditions, but I tell you what, they love their motorsport here, don't they? They're sat there under the umbrellas and uh, enjoying every minute of that. I had to hop through the motorhome last night at midnight to find earplugs because they still have the, like, they're on the limiter with bikes burning out and stuff like that, so um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool to have fans here. And I've seen a few Northern Ireland flags out there, so that's great. And here is that uh, trophy, uh, or one of the trophies, should I say, from the, uh, the top three, the trophy for uh, third position for Alex Lowe's back on the podium. So good to see uh, Alex. And here uh, he is. And I'll tell you what, mate. Um, so you're looking dry, aren't you? Uh, thanks, mate. Come here. <laughs> it makes a change. It's normally Jules Cluzel in Super Sport yeah. was pouring Prosecco all over me. So at least it's... Well, uh, it's not Prosecco, is it? It's just not. a bit of Magna Claus water. That's it. And there was a lot of water out there, wasn't there? Yeah, the last couple of laps, it started to come down even heavier. And it was, you know, because the you sort of tyres are worn a lot by that point. It was, it was quite difficult at the end, but yeah, enjoyed that. Final round in Estoril. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk to you about that. It's somewhere that we've never been before in, in, in World, uh, World Superbike. Yeah. And not assuming you've ever been there, even in... No, I've never been there before. Eh? It's two tracks on the calendar this year, now Barcelona and now Estoril that I've not raced at before, not been to before. So that's exciting, but um, yeah, I'm quite sad that there's not longer to go. It feels like it shouldn't be the end of the season, but I can't wait to get there and experience it for the first time. Of course, next Hopefully some Portuguese sunshine. I was going to say, hopefully it will be about 30 degrees. That's <laughs> the, the forecast, but you know, you know my predictions. I never get anything right, so it's probably going to be snowing. Yeah. I don't take that much advice from you, really. Oh, no, it's definitely not the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Good job, mate. Enjoy Cheers, the celebrations. Thank Cheers. You. So, Loris Barnes, just finishing with the journalists. Uh, you've been quizzed a lot about next year, Loris. Uh, but let's, so, let's, let's bask in the moment for now. You're a Frenchman at home. Your first ever podium in Magni Corps. I don't want to talk too much about the rain, but how much does this mean to you, given that there was probably a good few hundred fans in the grandstand who haven't moved since about 8 o'clock this morning. They're soaking wet. And to have a Frenchman on the podium, that's mega for them, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing to see some people uh, in, in the stand, we know Manico usually it's a massive run for us, for the fans, and it's good to finally see someone and I could share the podium a little bit in the last lap with them, so yeah, really happy. Absolutely, well, cheater on the mask, and he was as fast as a cheater today, wasn't he? Uh, as Loris Baz now comes I'm up not to... a cheater like the reins. <laughs> Well, one rider that we didn't get to speak to on camera in Catalonia and a rider that we haven't had a chance to speak to today is Garrett Gerloff. Uh, Garrett Gerloff has uh, been a sensation of the Catalan round. He was the first American on the podium uh, since Nicky Hayden. Uh, Garrett, firstly, mate, I hope you're OK. Uh, let's, let's talk about the positives. Uh, you've been on the podium and uh, barring, barring that mistake in, in that race, it looked as though another podium was coming your way. One monster crash, mate. You were, you were halfway back to California, mate. Uh, but uh, you're OK, first and foremost. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm all good. Just, uh, man, just so disappointed. Um, 
I think it was just man, I had so much confidence in the bike and how everything felt that I had just I just took it too uh, too far, you know. And uh, I could I was just I was hoping to, to be able to pass Baz in that next corner, and so I think I just gave it just a little bit too much throttle to try to put myself in a good position to make a pass. And uh, that's what happens in the rain when you give it a little too much throttle, you <laughs> end up on your head, unfortunately. So let's look to to the positive. So you got another two chances tomorrow. Back on the box tomorrow with uh, with this guy here. Right? So, with this guy. So, yeah. Thank you were too fast, man. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm good, man. Just uh, I was I hoping I was hoping to be with you till the end. <laughs> We've made our way back to the podium because I just wanted to show you. We've heard from the riders, they were talking about the weather conditions here. Just have a look at the conditions, how wet it is in the pit lane, the puddles uh, onto the start and finish straight. And the few fans up here, there's still a few hundred fans sat under the umbrellas, wrapped in sheets, trying to stay warm. This has been a great opening to the uh, Magni Corps round, the French round of the World Superbike Championship, the penultimate round. Make sure you tune in and join me, Michael Hill, and all all of us here from the Motul backstage show at the final round of the championship from Portugal, the Estoril circuit in two weeks time. It'll be the first time we're racing in the circuit just on the outskirts of Lisbon. We'll see you in two weeks.